American businessman John Texter has spoken of his intention to buy Everton Football Club and said that he is more than 90% um, positive that the deal will go through, but does admit that anyone could come in at any moment with a better deal than his and maybe take the club away from. He conducted an exclusive interview with Alan Myers for Sky Sports and likened taking over at Everton, being akin to being president of the United States. Um, Yeah, which is a very, very interesting one. Had some really interesting things to say. Lots of... Uh, stuff that I liked, I'll be honest, I know it's only words and words are not enough in the famous, uh, as the song goes, but um, you want that ambition, you want someone with that drive, you want someone with those plans and hopes and dreams to come in and take the football club forward. I don't think, for me personally, I don't think it's enough to just be quiet and in the background and say, oh, we have got a bit of a plan. We need someone who wants to be in your face almost to drive this club forward. When he gets it on that front foot, then maybe he can let others run it. But uh, I was I quite liked what he had to say. But until the deal's done, you can't get excited over anything because we it, we're too far down the road with all of these. But following on from his uh, his comments last night, Everton have released a statement today before the the Sean Dyche press conference. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, what goes on from here. But the club said today, the club is aware of the comments made by John Texter in relation to a potential purchase of the club. While positive conversations and progress continues to be made with Mr. Texter to formalise any deal with him, there remains some work to be done to complete the transaction. Accordingly, the comments made by Mr. Texter merely represent his personal view uh, on club matters. Everyone at the club is staying focused on providing the best support possible to Sean Dyche and the squad as we head into the weekend's fixture. The club will provide updates in respect of new investments when there is material news to communicate to supporters and other stakeholders. And this will be done through the official club channels. Uh, Obviously, John Texter had made some comments about the manager, Sean Dyche. He he wasn't uh, negative about Sean Dyche. He said he admired him. The job he's done, but he did he did sort of throw a question out there as whether Sean Dyche would be interested in taking players from all four corners of the globe and moulding them into a better side. And listen, I don't know what to read into that other than it's a challenge for anyone and, and his determination to try and get Everton and move the football club forward. You know if you watch this channel regularly, I am banging on about recruitment from other places rather than just the Premier League. So for me, it's music to my ears. Uh, Moving on to that, Sean Dyche has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's difficult game at Aston Villa at the weekend. But the manager was asked firstly his thoughts on John Sexter's comments uh, and the questions that he had about Sean Dyche. This is what the Everton manager had to say. Well, I haven't had the chance. Um, you know, I don't think the deal's to that position. Um, and I think it's one of them. You know, like I say, if you're a prospective owner of a club, you probably would want to build a relationship or certainly know the manager's thoughts in any situation. So I don't think that's necessarily about me and Everton Football Club. I think it's about any ownership taking or, or trying to take over a club. In due course, of course. You know, he, he isn't the current owner, obviously. Um, but if he did take over, then I'm sure you'd have that conversation. But I think that's standard practice. I don't think that's relevant to me. But what about your response to those questions? Well, I, I mean, you know, I'd like to think over my years as a manager, I've, I've dealt with many situations and many different players and many different playing styles. So that's just part part of being a Premier League manager, you know, and I've done that for a number of years now. So, you know, I think the, the variances are, are what you've got and what players you've got and the best you can use them. And I think, you know, I've tried to adapt to whatever challenge I've had with the group of players that I've been given. I mean, obviously, listen, what can Sean Dyke say, really? He, he hasn't had the, the opportunity to sit down with John Texter, so, of course, he's going to say people talk, and people do talk. That's the way it is, and, and if John Texter is putting things out there, then it's up to Sean Dyke to get results, convince him when he sits down with him he's the right man for the job. That's just the way it is right now, and this is football. Uh, Sean Dyke was reminded um, that he is in his last year of his contract by a journalist, as if he needed reminded. I'm sure the manager knows where he's up to. Um, But he was asked if there is any uncertainty on his future, if that is affecting him or if he's thinking about that. This is what Dyke had to say about that one. 
No, I don't think there's any uncertainty. I made it clear. I was asked that a month or so ago, and you know, I made it clear then that the bigger picture of the club is the main focus. You know, and, and it's still, you know, nowhere near the club wants to be where it wants to be. Sorry, you know, we've done loads of work myself, Kev certainly included, on the playing side of things with bringing in a lot of money in transfers and balancing out the contractual side of the club and bought a lot of money in that way. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that was certainly the focus when I came here. I was under low illusion about the challenge, although it's been a much bigger and much deeper challenge than I, what I knew when I first came here. Um, and my situation is secondary to the situation the club are in. You know, we want to we win games. That's my first thought amongst anything. It's not about myself. It's not about the contracts or anything like that. It's about my staff, the players all aligning to win games. It's, you know, that's, that's part of it. It's dead simple, or not simple to do, but simple in its thought. So that still remains my focus. It's the ambition over to there you go. Uh, and the manager then gave us an injury update regarding the likes of Armando Breuer, who, of course, signed on transfer deadline day at the very last minute, it seemed. Uh, the manager hadn't really had an opportunity to speak about him, given that the international break has been on and he's been injured. And Everton's other deadline day sign, an Oral Mangala. He uh, gave a little update on those two players, as well as the injury news ahead of Everton's trip to Villa Park at the weekend. This is what Sean Dice had to say on that. And um, is Mangala ready? Yeah, um, I know it's going to be a bit of time. We, you know, I think everyone's aware of that situation. Um, he's got an injury, and that's going to take a bit of time. Um, Oral is uh, well. We know from obviously his time at Forest. We know he can he can deal with the Premier League. and knows an international footballer. He's just spent his first bit of time. So he literally signed and then went away. So you know that's that's one of the things. But he's coming today, bright and breezy, and wants to be part of the group. And we'll we'll assess it as we go. In terms of injuries <clears throat> as well, Seamus seems to touch. Yeah, so Seamus is touch and go for the weekend, unfortunately, but we'll see how he goes, see how he um, recovers from that tomorrow more so. Um, uh, Jared is, is just really on the grass now, so he's at the very beginning process, and uh, Pat is the same. You know, they've, they've done a lot of work with the sports science team, by the way, but what I mean is they're starting to train with us every day, so they need a training period, a game period to be, to be classed as fully fit. There you go. Make sure you check out our preview for the Aston Villa game between uh, Aston Villa game on Saturday. Rather, Ped and Jack have gone through that one. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and if you want to become a Toffee TV Premium member, link is in the description. QR codes on the screen now. Thanks for watching. See you later.